The Ukraine peace summit came to an end after two days in Switzerland. But the event ended with many of the major countries not signing the joint communique. Yi Seung-jae reports. Over two years since the start of the war in Ukraine, countries continue to look for a way to bring it to an end. However, at the end of the two-day Ukraine peace summit held in Switzerland, a number of countries were unable to come to an agreement over the wording of a joint communique and decided not to sign it. The joint communique was signed by 80 out of 93 participating countries and three EU institutions, the European Parliament, the Council of the European Union and the European Commission. Russia was not invited to the event and China did not join despite an invitation. Among the countries that decided not to sign the joint communique were members of BRICS, including Brazil, India, South Africa and the UAE. However, other major countries also decided to take a more neutral stance, including Mexico and Indonesia. The failure to sign comes despite the fact that the joint communique takes into account the participation of BRICS members and does not explicitly condemn Moscow for its actions. Instead, it recalls the Charter of the United Nations, reaffirming its commitment to refraining from the threat or use of force against territorial integrity or political independence of any state, adding that the principles of sovereignty, independence and territorial integrity of all states, including Ukraine, must be respected. It also condemns any threat to use nuclear weapons while favoring the protection of Ukrainian power plants, including Zaporizhia, which Russia currently occupies. The declaration also calls for unhindered grain exports from Ukraine, the exchange of prisoners of war, and the return of children and other civilians abducted from Ukraine to Russia. Co-host Switzerland said it's looking into a follow-up event with Russia invited to participate. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.